If hearing a certain Run DMC song brings back memories of a dude in an afro busting mad air, then good news. SSX is back, and it came back hard. It's bigger, faster, more insane, and now a lot deadlier than any snowboarding game has ever been. SSX takes you on a trip around the world to nine of the most insane mountain ranges on Earth. Everywhere from Patagonia in South America, over to Kilimanjaro in Africa, the Alps in Europe, and down to Antarctica. The team is out to conquer the nine deadly descents before their douchey rival Griff does. Each mountain range is a completely different experience. You go from grinding along sections of the Great Wall to carving through the inside of an active volcano. With multiple event types, there are over 150 drops across 25 mountains. There's a metric crap ton of content in SSX. Tying the whole experience together is RiderNet, a continuously updated online resource that tracks your friend's progress. Think Need for Speed's Autolog, but with snowboards. You're constantly being updated on how your friends are performing, which mountains they're demolishing, and when they beat your scores. RiderNet uses your rivals to set challenges and award you credits. And to top it all off, SSX brings the noise with an amazing soundtrack. Rap, dubstep, electronica, and white boy rock get remixed on the fly as you tear down the mountains. SSX recaptures those feelings of joy from the PS2 days more than any snowboard game has ever come close to over the last decade. Busting out utterly insane tricks and breaking every law of physics is, well, freaking rad. You're seeing this, look how awesome it is. While the trick contest events are the core of the game, SSX provides exhilarating high-speed races as well as the brand new survival events. Forget fast times or big tricks, you're just trying not to die in an avalanche or suffocate to death or crash into a tree. They're cool boss battle events to spice up the main gameplay, and some of them are hard as hell. Every track, even the Deadly Descents, can be played in any mode. So if you want to hold the trick contest in the middle of an avalanche, go for it. Even the controls give you a ton of options. Stick controls and buttons can be used simultaneously. And for the hardcore fans, classic SSX controls are in here too. Multiplayer is probably the thorn for most people, but SSX's RiderNet system and global events work really well. Unfortunately, there's no standard classic multiplayer, but there's a huge customizable multiplayer mode that allows you to create events and have people compete on it in real time. You can carve down a mountain with literally thousands of other people and watch them trick and race around you. SSX brings back a genre of games that has been dead for too long. There's a reason SSX is the king of snowboarding games. This is the biggest, most insane boarding experience video games have ever seen. If you liked the PS2 games, you have to pick up SSX. It's freaking nuts. For more on SSX, head over to IGN.com.